Fishing groups have lashed out at the Northern Territory government's plan to shut down commercial fishing areas. But both the recreational and commercial industries say it's an empty promise and won't benefit anyone. As the Territory election draws near, the Henderson government is appealing to fishos by releasing a plan it says will make it easier to reel in the big one. But some are sceptical about the timing of the announcement. It becomes a bit of a hollow sort of gesture when we know that it will really be after this term of government before anything could possibly be done. The plan will be open for public consultation for 28 days. But with the Territory election just 39 days away, amateur fishers say it's unlikely the plan will come to fruition. The government um, really should have made the decisions that it's made much earlier and given us all a chance to work through them. The government's proposal was to make the areas around the Adelaide River, Leaders Creek and Fog Bay off limits to commercial fishing as well as Chambers and Fink Bays. It's a shame that the Minister has seen as our, our lack of agreement as a need for him to make a decision which, which hasn't been helpful to anybody. And the industry has also questioned the timing. We're in a period of time which the government will be well aware where our operators are at sea. The government says the new plan will improve the working relationship across the two industries. I think actually what it does is it removes any conflict between the amateurs and the commercials. It's, it's ongoing closures seem to be increasing that um, conflict, not decreasing it. The opposition has pledged to work with recreational and commercial fishers if elected. If there are areas that are very important to recreational fishing, let's see what we can do to improve access to those areas. Recreational fishers say the Henderson government made an election promise back in 2008 to introduce a recreational fishing development plan. But this still hasn't happened. Miriam Hall, ABC News.